CBS 12 News starts now with breaking news. And breaking right now at 6 as we come on the air, the desperate search for survivors continues after a deadly condo collapse near Miami Beach. These are the headlines millions across the nation are waking up to now. From national network to well-known newspapers, local stations across South Florida. One person is dead. 99 people are still unaccounted for after a condo collapse while people were sleeping. Take a look at this video. You need to see this. The moment that 12-story Champlain Towers South Building came down, 55 of the 136 units collapsing. You're seeing it right there. It happened in just 10 seconds. CBS 12 News has team coverage all morning long. Everything from the search for survivors overnight to people holding out hope, wanting to reunite with their families. We start with our Matt Lincoln right there in Surfside reporting live. Matt, the crews were there all night long searching. They did not stop. Yeah, we're a block away of 88th and Collins right here. Uh, you can see Champlain Tower South behind me. Before we take uh, some of the video of what we've seen here overnight, I want to zoom in here and take a look at what we're seeing uh, right now. Uh, you can see behind me a lot more smoke. This has just sort of started up and changed here uh, over the past few minutes. We did get a very quick shower, very quick, and since then we've seen a lot of smoke back there. Now there's a large uh, fire truck to the left with uh, a ladder. We Earlier on we were seeing the area of the tower be hosed down. But really, a thing to remember here is we're only seeing the corner of the rubble here, and the majority of the issues here were on the beach side, and now where we are at, we are behind the police tape. We are at a safe distance away from where the safety and rescue uh, people are helping uh, to find to see if there are any people underneath this rubble. I want to bring in right now Terry Hornstein, who's been following all the latest. You know, Terry, we haven't really got a lot of updates here over the past few hours, but what do we know right now? Well, you know, crews here, they're not only battling time to see if they can pull anyone out of this building, but they're also uh, battling as well uh, a lot of rubble out here. And now they're battling the smoke and the flames out here. I mean, we have this ladder truck, as Matt said, back up right now. Uh, earlier, it was just pouring water on this site. So you can imagine when firefighters need to be out here listening to see if they hear anyone with all that water coming down, it makes their job even harder. So the information we have right now at this hour, at the six o'clock hour, we know one person has been confirmed dead. Now our crews did see another body being pulled out from the rubble, but we need to speak to law enforcement before we get that information uh, confirmed. Any more information there. We also yesterday we saw very early in the morning, very early into this search and rescue mission just as fire crews got here we did see a boy a young boy pulled out it was a miraculous rescue to see that boy just pulled out from this rubble now we know so many families i mean we spoke to a woman just moments ago desperate to find her sister so many families just desperate to find their loved ones showing us pictures hoping they're alive hoping they may be at a hospital somewhere else we've also heard from our politicians who say they are pledging all of their support right now this is a tragedy without precedent in the United States of America. Uh, the, the devastation that, that, that I witnessed today is, is the likes of which I've never seen, and I have been to Haiti and other, other nations, but to, to see one building come down like this inexplicably. You know, the search here could take longer than a week. It could take more than a week to finish the work out here. And something else that we've heard a lot of people say in the last 28 hours, 29 hours or so since this building came down is buildings like this, they just don't collapse. So we can't expect an extensive ex investigation to take place, but that's going to happen much later on after this search and rescue mission is complete. Yeah, the woman that we just spoke with, Ashley, uh, her sister, as you had said, you know, is currently missing. She's just kind of wandering the streets. You know, there's a, there's a feeling you could see some of these people that kind of don't know what to do with themselves. What officials are asking them to do is to go to the reunification center, which is uh, just uh, a, a few blocks away down the street on Collins, and that's where we find our CBS 12's Madeline Montgomery with the links there. Maddie, what do you see? 
Matt, I'm about a mile from you guys and back in this building right now. Family members are asleep on mats waiting for answers about their loved ones. I actually spoke with two women who were standing outside of the center. They told me that they've been here since yesterday and they stay because they're just holding out hope that they hear something. And we have video of what the center looked like yesterday, full of tears and photos of the missing. Hundreds of people flooded the center looking for answers, family and friends desperately asking if anyone has seen their loved ones. I hope that Judy is still alive and, and still there and still there until we definitively know there there is hope. Um, it's just, you know, dwindling by the by the minute. The center is full of food that has been brought in by volunteers. They're full of snacks and water bottles for families looking for their loved ones and for all of the volunteers and first responders that are still out here. And many people here say that they are going to stay put until they hear something about their missing loved ones. We're now live in Surfside, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News. This is such a, a difficult time, certainly for people, you know, both Terry and I have been speaking to people up in Palm Beach County that, you know, have loved ones that right now are missing. If you are one of those people, there's a hotline that you can call. I got the number right now here that should be putting on your screen for you. It's 305-614-1819. That's 305-614-1819. And that's not only if you are looking for a loved one, but even if you have confirmation that the loved one that you know lives here is safe because once again we still have 99 people unaccounted for those are people that authorities are just trying to reach out to just trying to get and see whether or not they need to be looking for them in this rubble the uncertainty is unimaginable waiting on these answers a lot of work to be done today we are posting constant updates to this story right now our continuing coverage at cbs12.com you can also download our free app at 6.07, we want to go to Lauren now, check on the forecast both for the Surfside area, how it could impact those search efforts, and also our local forecast today, Lauren. That's right. So we're starting to see some of the rain down in Surfside move out. They had a brief little downpour there. It's dry now, but I'm watching another little shower coming on shore. This might just briefly pass that area, uh, but good news, there's no lightning anywhere within any of these showers, but little bits of rain could be moving on shore there periodically through the morning. We've got the same thing happening here. Showers coming ashore through northern Palm Beach County. A little bit of rain is well out near uh, Jupiter Farms. With that east wind, everything gets pushed inland through the day. This is 8 o'clock, so we're going to continue to see the possibility of some rain and a few downpours moving through. It's a typical rainy season pattern uh, for us today. Here's 11.15, downpours moving inland. A few thunderstorms are possible later as well. The strongest activity I do expect to be closer to Lake Okeechobee. Between today and tomorrow, we'll probably overall pick up maybe a half an inch to an inch of rain. We need it. This is great to see. Localized higher amounts are going to be possible for anyone that gets stuck under a really, really heavy downpour or a very slow moving storm. Today's forecast is very similar to yesterday's. Isolated showers for the morning, thunderstorms developing into the afternoon, especially inland, and then we'll be nice and warm across the area today also with our highs headed towards the mid to upper 80s. When we have that east wind, we tend to stop right around the 80s compared to if we have a west wind coming off a very hot inland Florida. So uh, hot and humid or warm and humid, I should say, across the area today. Ashley. All right, Lauren, we want to go right back live now to Surfside. After that condo collapse, when we come right back, an emotional interview with a woman searching for her sister this morning. You are watching CBS 12 News this morning. The one to turn to.